is up. What is up? The most requested video on Mitchell Pelkey's channel. It is here. Today I will be reacting to the top 2023 lacrosse recruits in the country. As of today, September 9th, none of these kids are committed. I love reacting to these kids because I was in their same position five, six years ago. My name is Mitchell Pelkey. I'm a junior on the Ohio State men's lacrosse team, number 25. If you've never met me, nice to meet you. I'll be going off Ty Zaner's Inside Lacrosse Top 10. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it will be in the top of the description. Excited? Let's dive right into it with the number one kid in the country, McCabe Millen. McCabe is an attackman at at McDonough School in Maryland, plays for Team 91 Maryland. His dad was a legend. Mark Millen went to UMass, played a long professional career. Did not play this past summer because he broke something in his hand, but let's dive into it. And McDonough class of 2023 president. Oh, Lee. Off the bat, and snipe it with both hands. As a high schooler, to be able to have both hands on lock, passing, and shooting is 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 insane. Like you don't see it a lot, and that's why he's number one in the country. I love the Sally's too. Like he's he's got it on lock. Definitely a, a quarterback of the offense. Sees the field well. Definitely looking for the open man, the open shot. But the Sally's are, they, he gets fired up on the field. What else would you want to see? I love it. Look at the shift. First of all, let's not forget the look at the low socks. The kids trying to show off a little calf game. You got to give respect to the kid. I love that. And look at the helmet. A little alfalfa at the top. Let's go. Is he quick right there? Fender almost falls. It just, he's got it. Full package. Very good with his change direction and has a sick first step. Quick with that first step and that's what really gets the defenders to bite. Also had 54 points as a sophomore in one of the hardest conferences in the world. I think my dad actually played with Mark. We gotta get him on the phone. Kev Pelkey, quick question. Did you ever play with Mark Millen? I played against him when he was at UMass. Just moved down in Baltimore a little bit. My his wife actually hired me at STX to do some repping for them. Speaking of STX, bam. Speaking of STX is right. I'm gonna come on here and tell you guys truly what my stick setup is. This is the first time I've told the public what I use, how I tape it, how I string it and everything. So let's dive in. First off, we do have the Stallion 900 with a low to mid pocket with no whip. The shooter doesn't do anything, I'm gonna be completely honest. Hoagie strings all my sticks. Let's throw it to him so he can describe it because I don't know the language. Hoagie here. Uh, Mitch uses a pretty simple pocket, boys. He just uses SIs, ones and twos, nothing too crazy. As a shooter on the fifth row, he likes to have the ball to be able to sit below when he's cradling one handed and it comes out really smooth, no whip on his stick. Let me know down below, boys, if you guys want a Mitchell Pelkey string tutorial, we'll get that fired up so you guys can use his pocket. Peace, boys. Coming down to the shaft, we have the STX side tie eye with almost a full tape job as you can tell I like to keep up top not tape because when I'm cradling doing a lot of stuff with your hand up here sometimes I usually do a piece of electrical tape around here so the tape doesn't flare out I've been playing with this same stick setup since seventh grade I think the biggest thing out there for anyone is find a stick pattern you like and stick with it because the more you're comfortable with it the better you're going to play this episode is sponsored by STX let's keep it going we actually saw his team play at the National Lacrosse Federation tournament at left you guys haven't seen that video check it out but on to the next one, number two in the 2023 class. We got Ben Johnston. This kid's Big Diesel. I saw him play at main stage. A nice kid. Even better lacrosse player, Mitty at an Avon Old Farm. Shout out TJ Hendricks. Plays for Trulax. This kid is a little bit shorter version of Sergio Perkovic. Sophomore athlete of the year at Avon Old Farm. That's a big, as a sophomore, this, this guy is 15 or 16 years old and getting athlete of the year. Ooh. Okay, hold on. He puts a shake and bake, then comes over the top, the uh, swim move on the guy, and then puts it low to high, lefty low to high to the right corner. So he's bringing that, like, that's not easy. Oh my God, are you serious? The swim to come back to the one hand. This is why we do it. This is exactly why we do it. He's very quick. He's very quick for being his size. Like guys like this are, are usually one dimensional, like straight line Dodgers, but like his COD is crazy. That was pretty good. 
I mean, he could sling the ball. That's like a 14-yard shot on the run, fading away, and he's putting it top shelf. That is not easy. I can't do that. First of all, he loves his swim move. I'm gonna be honest, I love that because you don't see that a lot these days. People just don't use it, they don't think it's effective, but this kid loves it. Can sling the ball with both hands. Like I said, if you wanna be a great lacrosse player one day, you have to have your left and right hand on lock. With stick skills and everything, that's what matters to these college coaches. Get on the wall. 30 minutes of wall ball, let's go. For number three, we have Leo Hoffman. Midi, Brunswick, Team 91. So let's dive into his highlight tape right now. <sighs> Wow, look at this snipe. This kid's quick, like right off the bat, I, you can just tell this kid is a quick dude. His first step is really shifty, but straight line speed, this guy's beating you in a race. The shot too, look at that, down the... <laughs> the fact that he winds up and he torques his back so much to get that stick behind his back. Torque and momentum he has coming through is the reason why his shot is so fast and that's something Leo does so well. This kid is just a, a gritty player. This is one of those middies you have on your team that are going to play both sides of the ball. Wow. The Selly, oh my God. One thing too I'd say, he's very good at protecting his stick. That's another thing like you're not gonna notice while watching this, but that's what makes him number three in the 2023 class. Leo, I love it, man. On to number four. We have Matt Christmas. LSM out of Georgetown Prep, played Madlax DC Dogs for Summer Bowl. This guy is very good. This guy, as an LSM, was averaging an assist or goal a game. Like, that doesn't happen. Number four overall, number one defenseman. Let's dive into his highlight tape. Dog. Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? Like, look at, look at that. You can't, you just cannot start a highlight tape off better than that. Stuffing it down the goalie's throat, your bench is going absolutely nuts. Him flexing, toe dragging to the sidelines for the fans to go crazy. Like, let's get it going, Big Mac. Holy, from, from range. Oh my God, I love that. He's like lurking on the crease. He's literally playing in the offense. Woo, doing the helicopter. You're done. Bing, bang, walking the dog. Oh, no way. Are you serious? This does not happen. This reminds me of CJ Costabile when he's playing at Duke. Like, this doesn't happen. You're running the field. This guy's a, he's an offensive player with a long pull. Look at him flexing. This guy could be my favorite player on this list. His Shelly game is out of the, like, this guy's gonna be hard to beat. Blowing kisses. I love this kid. College coaches are gonna love this kid because he's so versatile. That wraps up Big Mac. I need to meet you. We're gonna make this happen. Coming at number five, we got a kid I'm super familiar with, Owen Duffy. Attackman out of St. Anthony's, also plays on the same team as Leo. Team 91, Long Island Bandits. Let's dive into it. Oh my God. Coming up the left side, backhand, low to high. Call him Lyle Thompson. Shifty. The low to highs is there. It's locked in. And the behind the sniping corners. Saw this kid play at main stage and was in my video. Best player to ever come out of St. Anthony's. Best I've played with was Andrew McAdory. Talk to this kid for a little bit. A great kid, a humble kid. Oh, and I just, I just need more of a Sully. I just, I know you're watching. I need more of a celebration. Oh, swiping like he's playing baseball. And going high. This kid is very good. He's very shifty behind the net. I could definitely see this kid playing X attack when he is in college. This kid is going to be a great player at the next level. The backhand, like, all right, that's it. I can't watch anymore. Owen Duffy, you've seen him. You've heard about him. That's a wrap. Super proud of these kids. I've met a couple of them in the summer circuit, but just to watch their high tips and react, ultimately to see where they end up is, is a cool experience to watch. Big shout out to these top five kids. I wish nothing but the best from you guys. Keep those grades up. Keep your social media safe and enjoy the recruiting process. Subscribe down below. Please, please, please. I'm really trying to reach 20,000 subscribers before the end of this year. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Take care brush your hair, deuces.